Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to The Infected. Today, we're going to be hanging around the base so that we can make final preparations for two things. One, winter. It's currently November, as you can see in the upper right. It turned November late last night, so I do believe I have more than a day to work with. The other thing we're going to be preparing for, of course, is the imminent attack on this base. As you can see, the light value is currently 9662. It's slowly going up because I have this on. It'll go up a lot faster once I turn this on. So once again, we get to choose when we get attacked. I haven't put any of the defenses in place, but I do have the materials necessary to do that. So that is something we're going to do together. And in terms of everything else, I moved the uh, pumpkins up. And of course, I got a lot of watermelons here. So I'm not going to need to plant watermelons. I am going to need melons, though, if I want to keep the fruit cocktails coming. Now, in terms of canned food, I'm doing pretty good. But I do believe I can can some more. Yeah, I have been turning the uh, spoiled food into biofuel, which is uh, kind of what we need to do with that, isn't it? Now, I mentioned that we can actually uh, can some more food. I think that, where did I leave? Okay, there, I left the cans there. I think I have what I need to actually uh, make some more veggie mix. So that's what we're going to do here. See, here's the thing. The plants, the crops, if you have potatoes, cucumbers, and corn, when you harvest them, you get two each. With onions, you only get one. So that's a little bit of a problem. So I'm going to have to make two extra plots, one for a second onion and two for melon. That way I can get the, uh, the fruit cocktails going because I already got the watermelon. It's not a problem. All right. So let's just pop over to here for a moment into food and select veggie mix. Now you can see what you need for veggie mix. If everything else is producing two and onion is only producing one, you can see the problem here. All right. So produce that. And then we're going to go back over here and back into food. And we're going to select veggie salad. So that's going to put the veggie mix in a can. Boom, done. All right. I'm going to put it up here for now because the other ones are a little bit packed. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, they give you good permanent bonuses. So I do actually want to use them once winter is here. Uh, saving them is good, but in the end, you do actually want them. All right. Now, I'm wondering how the other crops are doing here. Because I watered them again last night. Oh, they're done. They're done. All right, now let's take a look at what I was talking about here. You can see I have one corn, I have one cucumber, I have one potato there. So let's just harvest everything. And then I'll just move the planters inside and then replant them. And then worry about the water, which is really the big problem. Oh, speaking of water, looks like it's going to rain. By the way, I do have thunder and lightning turned off. Um, basically because it does do sound problems. So I have to turn the sound down. It kills immersion, you know, that kind of a thing. So if I look at what I have now, you'll notice that I have three corn, I have three cucumbers, I have three potatoes, and I have one onion. So I really do need to plant an extra onion. All right, let's just do this, by the way, and make another veggie mix. All right, and craft. There we go. And then back over to here. And then we'll put it in the can. Yeah, I like the um, the other one better, the fruit salad, because it's all one step. Empty can, watermelon slice, melon slice. It all does in one. But here you actually have to make the veggie mix first. Did I make the veggie mix? I didn't make the veggie mix, did I? Oh, I did make the veggie mix. There we go. Boom. There we go. And let's just put that up there, too. You know what? Here, take the can, too. Right, and I should probably do a little bit of eating because my vitamins are a little on the low side. There we go. And you know what? Why don't you just take the potatoes, too, for now? Raw potatoes aren't very useful to me. Oh, and I had a couple of friends drop by and say hi. I think he's the one who howled at the end of the last episode. And yeah, when I actually killed the pig, I got meat and I got a lot. I mean, I got a lot of uh, bacon. The rest of the bacon, I basically just threw into the spoiled food area here. And uh, yeah, once again, I made biofuel out of it. All right, so let's get going with the defenses here. What I want to do is I want to fill that in. That'll be the last thing I do. Now, I have two spikes left over from our previous. Oh, that one is damaged. I'm going to have to fix that one first. All right, I have two of these now, by the way. This one over here is weapons right over here. 
And this one over here is tools. I figured tools near the door. Sounds like a good idea. Now, I'm going to need two things here. So why don't we put the stone axe away? So apparently I'm going to need the stone hammer for repairs. Then I'm going to need the upgrade tool. So we're going to take both of those with us. All right. What do I need to repair this? Two sticks. Well, I have a bunch of sticks here. So let's see. There we go. You're fixed too, right? All right. The plan is I am going to upgrade these two to iron spikes. And then I'm going to make three more sets of just wooden spikes. You know, just to do a little bit of damage. Just annoy them a little. Besides, a couple of them did get stuck the last time. I mean, the vampire got stuck on the spikes. So any spikes are good. It's just that I want to make sure when they get to the end, it's really going to hurt them. The uh, thing is, I think the bosses can just tear through them, which is the reason for the bob wire. Now, I do have a concern about the bob wire, though. If I block off that last part there, are they going to stop seeing that as a path to get to me? If they do, they may just start tearing through the foundation. That is a little bit of a concern for me. All right, I don't need the repair tool anymore, otherwise known as the stone hammer, but I am going to need a lot of fragments. Now, upgrading these guys costs 20 each, so I need eight stacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's the reason I'm only doing two right now, because they are very expensive. So I got my upgrade tool here, and if we look at this, it says upgrade to iron spike trap 20 iron fragments. All right, but it does take a big jump in health. That is a 500. That is a 10 health. There we go. All right, so we're going to put this back because that's all I'm going to be doing with upgrading. So you take that, and I'll just take the stone axe back too, right? All right, because I'm leaving that last spot open for a bow, which is something we're going to do. All right, I do need to make more of the uh, regular spikes so let's get to that right now now these are very inexpensive so it's um they're disposable those are not disposable because i just invested a lot into them you you and you all right so these guys let me get the wooden logs it's the reason i bought them up here so one wooden log each one two three all right so we'll put a wooden log in there wooden log in there a wooden log in there then sticks. I'm just going to grab a whole bunch of sticks. You got four. You got four. You need two more. All right, the last thing I need is rope. Now, I made a lot of rope because I am going to be making arrows. And arrows do require rope. All right, you, you, you. Yeah, very inexpensive. The, um, the log, you just cut down one little tree and you got three of them. No big deal. And, of course, the rope is just... The plant fiber. And you get a lot of that from cutting down trees. All right, so let's see about laying out our defense. I want to keep them a little bit far apart from each other. The reason for that is because I don't want them attacking and hitting two at the same time. But, I mean, I do want to stack them up a bit. I am, however, like I said, rather concerned about whether or not they're going to see this as a blockage. If they start tearing through the foundation, that could be a big problem for me. I mean, it basically undermines the entire setup, doesn't it? All right, got that one right there. Okay, so let's start putting the big ones down. Uh, okay, right. Okay, right. Just saw a spot a moment ago there, didn't I? All right, right. I just do that one right there, right there. All right, and. This one right at the end. See, I'm wondering whether or not I should at least try taking this out for now. I mean, I do have stronger defenses, you know, with uh, these spikes down here. So I'm just wondering. By the way, let's just take a quick look at the situation. Yeah, I think that's going to work out. We'll see how that works out. Uh, of course, vampires, you don't know what's going to happen with them. Um, in the previous attack, one of them actually got stuck on the spikes. So, all right, well, you know, if that works out that way, that'd be great. Okay, so um, this one here, I am going to fill it up. So let's just go right ahead and fill it up. So I need three ingots and I need three fragments. Right, and I'll just grab a stack here for now. And then we'll put this in. I can, of course, move this thing. 
it's my I'm just curious as to whether or not I've just blocked this off as a path and instead they're going to decide, you know, why don't I just tear through this? You know, that's something maybe we should do instead. My worst nightmare is that they completely avoid this and attack the back. See, that's always been a little bit of a concern because you have some long legs down here, right? And if they decide they want to go through there, they might rip out the back of the building because you take out a foundation and yeah, everything just collapses there. That would be bad. So I am very concerned about this, but I need to know whether or not that's going to be a thing or not. Because if they still come this way, what I can do is I make a bunch of these and just stack them in their way and just hold them while I shoot them with arrows. By the way, that is the next thing we're going to be doing right now. Let me put these back. All right, I need the rope, of course. Do I have any more rope? Yes, I do. All right, I also need feathers. I have a lot of feathers. And I haven't killed any birds other than chickens. It's just you find a lot of dead birds lying around. And then I'm going to need bone shards too. So I need rope, uh, feathers, bone shards, and of course a whole bunch of sticks. So we're just going to grab a bunch of sticks. Uh, just grab a bunch of sticks. That'll do for now. All right. Now, obviously, the first thing we have to make is a bow. So we're going to go over and we're going to grab a recipe. It's in weapons. It's right here. One stick, three rope, and craft. All right, so that should be in the four hole. Yes, it is. Now, I don't have any arrows. I actually did get one stone arrow. If I had a bunch of stone arrows, I might use them for this. The thing is, I don't want to make any, and I do hear another wolf coming. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Oh, we're going over here because bone arrows are made on the advanced workbench, aren't they? Right, and there's an advantage to them is that they don't break as much. So it's easier to retrieve them. All right. So let's go over to the itempedia weapons. And I think it's right here. Bone arrow. All right. So what we're going to do is craft. Yeah, I figured it was going to end up on the ground because it can't go into my inventory. All right. And this right here makes arrows so much easier to make. Look at this. All right. As soon as. OK, now there's room. All right. But. You know, I have a feeling if I pick them up off the ground, they're going to go right into the quiver. So I am just going to keep going until I can't make any more. And I think I just ran out. All right, hold it a minute. Grab, grab, grab. Yeah, that went right in there. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to put that over there. All right, I think that 15 is probably more than enough to do the situation for now. Mind you, I think the max is 40. And when I go gator hunting, I will have 40. Because, uh, yeah, they take, I think they take six or seven to bring down. Unless, of course, they've made modifications to that. All right, so let's put these guys back. And then let's throw them in. I don't need that. And I don't need the, uh, where is that wolf? Maybe he's looking for his friends. Um, feel free to drop by and visit. But you'll be joining them. Because I'll just empty this card here and throw him in there too. It's good to have some food lying around, right? Okay, so here's the thing. I have my bow and I have my arrows. That reminds me. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so right click and I guess left click to fire. I mean, every game has its own bow mechanics, right? Well, you know what? We might as well just light this up because I do believe we're ready. We need to... Uh, find out how this is going to work, right? And I do also need more iron fragments. I need lots and lots of them. Should be interesting. Now, as soon as that value does reach 10, one of the camps will empty out. It really depends on where the camp is. So they're going to start heading here. I mean, it could come from this direction, could come from this direction. Maybe they're over in that corner. I have no idea. Now, I do know, however, if you accidentally stumble across one of the camps, you'd better kill them because otherwise they're just going to head for your base. Because it's not just you they're coming for. It's the base. And I'm also hoping that they don't see that as a problem. I'm a little concerned about them because they're kind of full, but we'll have to see how that works out. All right, what do we got? Okay, we got nine, eight, basically five at the moment. I wouldn't mind swapping these guys out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Another thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to make winter clothing, but that shouldn't be a big problem. Uh, as soon as we're done here, I'm going to take the armor off. You know, the one thing the ATV is going to allow me is I can actually do some uh, looting. Used to be you'd have to walk with the cart, and that was kind of dangerous. But I mean, if you're in a vehicle, you should be able to get places of safety fairly quickly here, right? All right, there we go. And let's put these guys back in here. All right, back in here. Okay, 991. So very quickly. Yeah, I really wish they would nerf that a little bit there. Or I shouldn't say nerf it, improve it a little because, you know, this thing fills it up really fast. I mean, if you really wanted to go into mass production, run two of them, you're just going to get attacked all the time. So, I mean, I think it should slow down just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, I am very curious as to how this is going to go. By the way, I do have this, so I am going to be um, up here. However, I should probably wait until they actually arrive because I want to make sure that they see a path up to me. If I go up there, they may not see a path. Again, I'm really concerned about this, though. Really concerned. All right. Uh, we have 9996. Okay, we're going to be doing this any moment now. All right, there we go. 10, and we're rolling over again. And here comes the chicken. It turns out it's the chicken. The chicken is coming. And of course, which yell will... Pro oh, oh, I see them. You see them? Okay, there's four. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are they doing? Oh my goodness, they're going around. They see this as an obstacle. Um. Um. Uh, there. That's, they're going around. Are they going to be beating on the back? Okay, he is here. Okay, come on, up, and... Are you, are you hiding? Oh, it looks like he vanished. Where did the other ones go? Okay, they're just standing there. Come on, load it up. One dead. Two dead. Well, that worked out really good. Okay, so they just couldn't figure out how to get to me. Okay, this guy vanished. I want to loot them. I also want my arrows back. Okay, one arrow each. Okay, did I get my arrows back? Okay, uh, right there. Right there. Okay, he actually had some stone arrows. Where is the other one? Did I get more of my arrows back? Fourteen. Oh, am I thirsty? I didn't realize that. I wasn't paying attention to my health. All right, uh, some bacon. Cucumber, corn. All right, we're doing good. Okay, that worked out a lot better than I thought. When they were running around, I was really concerned that they were going to start beating on this. That would have been a big problem. You know, what I should probably do is I should put Bob wire around whatever is exposed here. But I mean, they were just standing here and, uh, yeah, those bone arrows work really well on them, doesn't it? One shot each. All right, so that worked out really well. A lot better than I would have thought. And the boss came over here. I, I'm pretty sure I missed him, but he just despawned. He didn't hit anything, but, yeah, that worked out pretty darn good. All right, well, you know, obviously, can I, can I actually get around? All right, let me pick this up. Um, can I, oops. Okay, I can't get around. All right, let's throw this up here. So they didn't come up here, and they couldn't figure out how to get up here. I'm okay with that, though. I am very, very okay with that. All right, so let's move this stuff out of here. 
All right, so that is definitely pretty nice here. And they didn't attack anything else. I mean, they just kind of stood there while I let, while I, basically I killed them. So, yeah, I mean, that was the best possible scenario right there. I have nothing to repair. The thing is that what I am going to do is I'm going to use these to protect the back just in case they do decide to do that, to give me a little bit of a chance to act on it, if you know what I mean. It's a too bad we can't shoot down because what I would do is I would actually build a rim so that I can shoot down if they do decide to do that because clearly the bow and arrows are useful. All right, so let's go here. But of course, the boss would be the big problem, but he just bugged out. He's like, nope, I can't figure this out. Nope, can't figure it out. I mean, I even moved it, but maybe they uh, choose their path beforehand. I, I really have no idea. All right, let's just get these guys inside. I'm going to need to make two more um, for the uh, onions and then for um, melons. I'm also going to have to need to get the seeds up here. All right, so like I said, that worked out better than I ever imagined. I had a lot of fears going into this, and uh, turns out that they were not founded, were they? All right, one more. Oh, that reminds me, I still have the furnace going, and I am not making more fragments. I need to make lots and lots of fragments. Boom, there we go. All right, let's do this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give me the fragments, and... All right, well, that problem has resolved itself, hasn't it? And also, they were nice enough to give me some extra arrows here. I would like to save the other ones for attacks. So I guess I did lose one of them, though, because I didn't see it on the ground. I guess it broke. I mean, there's less of a chance of them breaking. What's well, this 0% chance of arrow breaking? But I didn't see it on the ground. I don't understand. I'm guessing it's just a fuzzy 0% chance because it does look like it broke to me. All right, so that, okay. Where is the chicken? He needs to be quiet. I guess he's around back, isn't he? Oh, yeah, that's right. I did see him, didn't I? That's a frog. Where is the chicken? Oh, there's the chicken. Okay, he senses somebody uh, looking down at him. I was about to, tell, to take out the bow, by the way. All right, so that worked out pretty good. Um, I don't need to have the armor on anymore, and I'm going to do something about that now. Wow, that uh, light value goes up really quickly, doesn't it? All right, so the first thing I have to do, I believe, wait a minute, is to... Um, Take off the armor here, and we'll put it in here. Eventually, I'll make the old um, clothing rack. But what I do need is preparations. I think that should do the job. And then I need fragments here. So let's see. Do I make it here, or do I just make it myself? I guess it doesn't really matter. All right, what I need is I need two things. I need the winter coat. So craft the winter coat, and then I need... thing is, I'm probably going to be too hot, so I'll have to take them off. At least one of them. But I do need to have them available. Like currently, I guess I'll check my own body temperature. And then I need snow pants. So craft the snow pants. Now here's the question now. You see, my body temperature is shooting up right now. So I really do need to take them off. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, because I'm going to start uh, going really bad here in a moment. Okay, it's still going up with just the pants. So let's just put this over here. And then I have I have to take my pants off too. But I do have them. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to make space this way because it's a little too tall. And apparently I can't fold my pants. Yeah, am I going to fit that in there? That could be a problem. No, it's not going in. All right. Um, here, can I put that on the ground? All right, take that. For now, I'll, I'll, I'll wear that. 
It's just that when winter does actually arrive, uh, which is has not yet, then it's going to be a bit of a problem. All right. Uh, can I put some stuff away? Because I do have a lot of stuff on me that I don't want. I figured one thing that I can do is take a trip over to the cave. Uh, I haven't been there in a long time, so it ran out a while ago. So put these guys in here. I'm going to have to start um, filling up. Okay, there it is. There's the oil. All right, so I got 16 oil there. Where is the seeds? So I can start doing a medicated bandage pile. Oh, and I uh, I missed the um, onion. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to plant two onions. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to make the cans in a good manner. And the cans are far better than the individuals. And at this point, that's what I should be focusing on. All right, and why don't we just go over... Oh, you know what I need? I need more biofuel. I have some down here. All right, split that off, and we'll take that. So let's head over to the mine. I've only been there once, by the way. Oh, you know what I should do? I, I don't have the, um, the pickaxe with me. I, if I see some stuff available, I should just take the opportunity. Uh, I'm not going to cut down any trees right now. So I will just take the uh, stone pickaxe. Yeah, that attack worked out really well. So, you know, I'm just going to implement that exact same thing the next time. Oh, and... I just merely made the same mistake I made the last time. I left the furnace on. It's already up over one. So, yeah. I still do want to be able to control that, don't I? All right, here's what we're going to do. Uh, this, put this out. There we go. Speaking of which, how is my uh, health going? All right, a little bit more water. Well, I actually have water over here, don't I? Yes, I have some, but I do really need to refill that. Shouldn't be a problem, though. Uh, protein, let's have some of that. And I can just eat that. I got a lot of those. Right. I'm also getting tired. I got up early. All right, so let's head over to the mine. So I'm just, like I said, I'm going to go with that same strategy that I did before. And um, we'll see whether or not there's a difference. I mean, they did go around specifically. They came from that same direction that we saw before. And they did go around. So clearly they saw... Is that the way? No, here it is. I think? Wait a minute. I'm confused. It's this way. Actually, it's right there, isn't it? Oh, and we'll just turn the light on, too. Maybe it'll scare the scorpions away. All right, what do you got for me? All right, you got a lot of stuff. First things first. Reload. Take all. I'm not carrying. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to drop this stuff off. All right, throw all this stuff in here. I need to make a lot more boxes in order to uh, organize a little bit better. Because I am going to need all these things. All of them. There, give me that last one. There we go. And of course, I did refill this. So this is filled to max. All right, let's see here. I wouldn't mind getting some extra coal. Just keeping my eyes open for scorpions. All right, get some of that, get some of that. And I do see that we got some mushrooms there. Oh, wow, there's one spawn right at the door there. Hopefully it has iron in it. I don't see anything else. I mean, I could go in, but it's just not worth it to me right now. I was just saying, you know, hey, if there's some extra coal lying around, I'll just grab it. That way I can keep the heater going, and I can keep the furnace going. Ah, small stone. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate indeed. 
And there's a scorpion, so you know what? Just don't want to mess with the scorpion. Nope, I do not want to mess with the scorpion. So let's just go. I got what I came for, which is a whole lot of ore. And we'll kill this. Oh! Yes, I did, did see that. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to eat it because there's no reason for me to save it. And that's going to give me a whole bunch of vitamins and such. Give me some water, too. So I think that that's going to be it. So I do believe that we are prepared for winter now. I have lots of fruit cocktail canned. I have veggie mix canned. I'm going to start working on my crops. I have a lot of um, meat. I did want to actually do some uh, fishing. It's just that I couldn't work it into my timetable. Uh, maybe I'll do some attempt on that before winter actually kicks in there. All right, let me see here. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to have to figure out where I'm going to put all of that because I do have... Um, where is it here? Yeah, I have a box with ores. That one is kind of full because, well, I took the lead and I put it up there. Here, by the way, take that lead. And I do have coal down here. Yeah, I couldn't figure out where to put the uh, the boar skin, so I just kind of left it there. I need a lot more boxes for organization. So that is something I'm going to be able to work on during the, uh, the winter, of course. Organization. So I think that, that is going to be it. So we had another attack. I had the defense set up, and it just seemed to intimidate them. We had the boss over here. I took a shot at him. I didn't miss him. I know that for a fact. But then he just went poof because I guess he just couldn't figure out how to get to me or anything to beat on. I, I thought that if they couldn't get you, they would just beat up on the things that you own. So I figured they'd be beating on the stairs, maybe the boxes or the, uh, the saws over there. And then, of course, these guys just stood there very nicely for target practice. If there was another arrow down there, it's gone. I don't know what happened to that arrow. And you can see I have a window, and I actually went to the trouble to actually fill it in there because I want everything to be warm and cozy in here. Once spring comes, I'm probably going to work on a stair here to build a second floor. Uh, that's kind of another reason for this, which I turns out I didn't have to use. See, if they came up this way, I was going to come up here and shoot them with arrows, specifically aiming at the uh, the boss. Hopefully, he would have gotten stuck on the fence. But um, yeah, I didn't have to do that because he just said, nope, nope, I'm out of here. Hey, worked out good for us, didn't it? And that is going to be it. So we're going to be in winter in the next time. Maybe we'll do some looting. We'll have to see how it works out. I do want to get back over to here. The thing is, we kind of looted that together already. I don't know if there's interest in that. What day is it now? It's day 17, I think, right? Hold on a minute. Yeah, it's day 17, which means tomorrow is going to be 18. Everything is going to reset on 20. I'm wondering if I want to drive and get all that gas that's up there. But you know what? We're not having a problem with gas. I think I have... Um, do I have four or five extra cans? I don't even remember. I have five. I have five cans. And a lot of the places we go to actually have cans anyway. So, yeah, I mean, gas isn't really a problem. I am wondering as to whether or not the big truck is also going to use the same gas can. That's kind of the reason that I'm saving them up because, you know, probably the, uh, the big truck will need more than that. I don't know. I don't know if the way that works. Does one can fill the big truck? It would kind of make... Fuel production kind of useless, if you know what I mean. I mean, if we could just put that fuel into the big truck, then we don't have to go through the whole rigmarole of creating gasoline because clearly there's enough to find. And that is finally going to be it. So we had our attack, worked out really well, a lot more than I expected. And, oh, I better turn this off. It is generating heat after all. And, of course, I do believe we have our final preparations. Uh, we got food. I'm going to set up the crops again, of course. I'm going to have to manually water them, but that shouldn't be a problem once it starts snowing. I do have these beforehand, but it is actually going to snow, and you can just 
use your thermos on the um, on the snow to get water and then cook it, and it's not a problem. But that's going to be it. We're going to be in winter the next time we get together, and I will try to figure out what we're going to do in the meantime. Who knows? Maybe we'll have a winter attack. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Maybe say something in the comments for the Great God algorithm. And of course, subscribing is a great way to show your support. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games, because games are fun. See ya.